Okay, and we'll talk about all that too. Okay, ready? Mm hmm. Okay, I have got a really difficult piece to cut. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wish me luck, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use the saw. So, David, what kind of a saw is this? It's a Taurus 3 ring saw. Taurus 3 ring saw. So there's the. There's what it is. We love this saw, but we don't use it very much. And the reason is, um, whenever I'm teaching, I want students to know how to cut, and so I don't let them use the, the saw. But once in a while, you get a piece like this. This is so crazy <laughs> that I'm glad I have it. <laughs> well, I don't so, let students use it because it's over $120 for a new blade. So if they break it... Know. Then I'm out 120 bucks exactly. or more. Exactly. A good enough reason for me. <laughs> so, what you have to make sure of, first of all, is to put enough water inside there to go up to this line. It says water mark. So, there you go. And right now, we do, I put some in there so we've got enough water up to the mark. Now, we have found, David found this out, that if we move this first there's less of a chance and you push it down for it to break all right we don't want breakage and the reason yeah is because the belt sits for a while and it gets mm. really stiff okay and so if you run it a bit then then it loosens up okay very good so, I'm going to be very safe. I've got my safety glasses on. I think I'm even going to put on a mask. So, uh, I won't have to talk because it's going to be loud anyway. <laughs> and I put my hair up so it's not in the, in the way. Also, if I was wearing a ball cap, I would wear it with the bill in the back. Because if you wear it with the bill in the front, glass from the grinder or cutting or anything could pop up, hit the bill, and go in your eyes, even if you have safety glasses on. So. And that, that's actually happened to me. So it's that's how we learned you. it. Oh. Learn by experience, huh? Okay, you can't talk anymore. Cause... I can't talk anymore. All right, here we go. I wanted to ask you if you ground all the way around it to keep yourself from hurting your getting no, cut. It's not sharp though. Okay, here's the cutter. Okay, so David suggests that we grind all the way around the places that I already cut because I'm going to be pushing alongside those, so that's good. And then what I'll do is I'll probably dry this and go over it again because it, after it gets wet, that marker starts to come off. drying off. Alright, you can pause if you want. I'm using a silver sharpie because this is a dark color. And I would use it anyway because I think the silver sharpie doesn't wash off as much as the black one. So here we go. If you wanted to know, this is a, a profile. So this is going to be a nose, and this is a hair. No, 
I'll show you later where it's going to go. No. Oh, <laughs> wrong machine. All right. You don't usually have to push it down oh. after you've started it up. Okay. For. Okay. My goodness, I did it. Yeah, I so. can't really see it because you're holding it with the black in the back. Wow, is that a little bit of grinding and woohoo! Okay, you did you good. That hard piece? Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> Once your camera's on. Um, well, it's only on your on your. Okay. Oh, here, here it is. <laughs> it's on you now. I'm like, oh, okay. I froze it. <laughs> Okay, now hold this one up so we can see how. It is it her up. chin that was so hard? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That looks real. That's really dramatic. I know. I can't believe you did that. So okay, crazy. now. So we put it back in, and we, and then everybody can see how it fits in there so nicely. It'll be fun to foil it too. But look at that. I mean, I'm not an expert at putting the puzzles together. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's your witch on a broom. <laughs> Pretty nice. Bewitched. <laughs> I'm so excited.